Good morning, students. Today we will learn about the pelvic fetus. Okay, so in during the perinatal period, how the morbidity means death rate and disease rate of the fetus is affected. Okay, to the newborn. So first of all, we will learn about the definition of the perinatal period. So the perinatal period commenced at twenty eight weeks. of gestation completed means when birth of baby and birth weight is normally 1000 g okay at the time of the birth of baby the weight of the baby is normally 1000 g and and seven completed days after the birth means after the birth of baby seven, till seven days it is known as a perinatal period okay so what is the definition of the perinatal period the perinatal period commences at completed the 28th gestational weeks time to when the birth of the baby is normally 1000 g and ends at till the seven completed days after the birth okay next that is the neonatal period neonatal period commences at the birth till end of the 28th completed weeks completed days after the birth mean means one week of the birth of the baby is counted as a neonatal period means while the birth of baby is occur till 28 days it is comes under the neonatal period then early neonatal period means first 7 days known as the early neonatal period and late 7 days means 7 to 27 day of the newborn is known as the late neonatal period okay so what is the perinatal mortality it includes late fetal death means more than 28 weeks of the gestation okay in figure that is shown means any abnormality of the two ba newborn baby but more than the 28 weeks of gestation it include into the late fetal death and what comes under the early neonatal death that is the greater than 7 days old baby means first 7 days of the newborn baby is comes under the early neonatal death okay next that is the definition of the perinatal mortality rate so what is the perinatal mortality rate so what is the perinatal mortality rate it is also known as a pnmr perinatal mortality means all fetal that is either early fit neonatal period or late neonatal period all fetal and early neonatal that weighing 1000 g or more between the 28 week of gestation or to the first week of the neonatal life means till 7 days of the neonatal of life is included into the perinatal mortality okay so this definition is given by the WHO that is the World Health Organization. They included that all fetal and early fetal neonatal death weighing under one thousand gram or more between the twenty eighth week of gestation till first week of the neonatal life is known under the perinatal mortality rate. Okay, now how we can identify and find out the ratio? So it expressed in terms of perinatal death. For one thousand total births means particular in particular area which given into the particular year for one thousand one thousand of the neonatal births which express in terms of the perinatal births. Okay, so in developing countries, high that is the thirty two to thirty five for perinatal mortality in developing nations. Ten less than the one thousand in thousand birth. Okay. So what is the perinatal mortality rate? How we can the find out the ratio between the perinatal period? So they included that fetal and early neonatal life death upon total birth means life and death both are included into multiplication of the one thousand. We can find out by this slogan. perinatal mortality rate means per total birth how many fetuses or neonatal death occur 
in multiplication of the 1000 we can find out easily and how to find out the perinatal mortality ratio means fetal and early neonatal death upon live birth in this not only dead fetus also included but live birth of baby included into multiplication of the 1000 so this is the main difference between the two ratio okay next one that is the factors affecting the perinatal mortality so what are the factors that is affecting to the fetal death so first of all that is the maternal age means mother's age that is more than 30 to 35 year of age then teenage pregnancy okay and elderly gravida means uh, multi parity is there mother having that it can be risk for the mother as well as a baby also then parity as i told earlier if mother having six or six gravida means it affect directly to the woman's health as well as the baby's health okay both have a risk because in sixth gravida whole uh, genital organ and reproductive organs are mainly rupture or not only good muscle tone so due to that some problems faced by mother then uh, lack of uh, deficiency of the hemoglobin so anemia occur inadequate antenatal care means no care and observation provided to the mother in whole pregnancy phase that inadequate rest okay so this kind of the factors affecting to the baby also so it will affect to the perinatal mortality then low socio economical status obstetrical factor in that some kind of the complication like antepartum hemorrhage intrapartum hemorrhage mal presentation of the baby then placental insufficiency cord prolapse multiple births so this kind of the factors that is directly affecting to the perinatal mortality then what are the causes responsible for the fetal death so first of all that is the idiopathic means unknown so about 50% of cases that is unknown then in maternal cases causes that is hypertension okay then diabetes mellitus then thyroid disorders placenta previa pet abruptio placenta then cord prolapse and cord accidents okay uh, chorioamniotitis means uh, lack of the amniotic fluid or more amniotic fluid can cause the fetus the problem and on on also the other infections okay genital tract infection so like chorioamniotitis and other infection like the genital tract infection okay Uh, then iso immunization also and for the fetal causes that is the genetic anomaly is mostly responsible okay so these all are the causes for the fetal death next that is these all are the causes for the fetal death next one that is the causes for the neonatal death so what are the causes responsible for the neonatal death that is the prematurity okay so means early premature labor and early delivery can cause the co fetal death you okay? can neonatal death because in improper growth and development of the fetus can cause the neonatal death then iugr means intrauterine growth retardation that is main cause then hypoxia birth trauma okay if any injuries or trauma related to the time of the delivery then it can cause the baby risk then neonatal infection congenital anomalies means malformation or any any the abnormality by birth defect of the birth is responsible for the neonatal death aspiration pneumonitis iso immunization these all are causes responsible for the neonatal death then causes of the perinatal mortality that is antenatal intranatal and postnatal because in different phases different kind of the causes are responsible so in antenatal phase that is the maternal disorder like hypertension cardiovascular disease heart related any anomaly or problem is mother facing then diabetes infection anemia pelvic disease okay and anatomical defect defect means any e dysfunction of the organ of the body then can cause the perinatal mortality so these 
uh, all are causes under the antenatal period faces by the mother then in intranatal period birth injury asphyxia prolonged effort time obstetric complications okay all these are included in intranatal and in what about in postnatal that is prematurity respiratory distress syndrome means difficulty in breathing or hypoxia then respiratory and alimentary infection means exchange of gases and cells and tissue are damaged then cause it will lead to the infection in respiratory tract okay congenital anomaly also included into the postnatal causes so these all are causes divided under the perinatal mortality next that is the prevention how we can prevent this kind of the causes okay so that we can save the life of the baby so in prevention about earlier we already learned that is the causes divided into the phases like antenatal intranatal and postnatal same as prevention also divided in that antenatal phase postnatal and intranatal so in antenatal phase that is first of all preconception counseling because if we know earlier the kind of the complication faced by mother then we can priorly prevent then proper antenatal care and pnd okay so that uh, if properly management and detection of disease earlier then we can prevent it in antenatal phase then good maternal hygiene and diet and control of the genital infection because obviously if we care proper of the mother then say already safe for the baby also and we can healthy we can provide a good health through a baby also then early recognition and effective treatment of the maternal factors that it early detection and prompt action provided to the mother and prevent the ppl okay so these all are prevention takes place in antenatal phase already included but uh, some other factor that is judicious use of intervention like fetal blood transfusion fetal therapy operations okay this kind of the judicious use also implement in antenatal phase then timely delivery means no prolong during the delivery time then diabetes mellitus preeclampsia iugr means intrauterine growth retardation oligohydramnia if mother having a low amniotic fluid intercavity then the growth and development of the baby is retarded so that will lead to the problem for baby then prom uh, rupture of membrane okay premature rupture of the membrane then poor bpp that is biophysical profile already low then it can cause to a baby and non reactive ct means card if the cardiography is non reactive these all are the diagnostic finding during the antenatal phase so if in defect there then timely notify to the doctor so that they can manage the mother okay in antenatal care so these all are the prevention basis now prevention related to intranatal phase so prompt management of the fetal distress then prevention of infection amnio infusion to prevent the meconium aspiration okay so that we can uh, prevent the meconium aspiration if uh, we provide priorly to the amnio infusion to the baby then avoid means traumatic delivery or injury like in forceps delivery and vacuum delivery there is a highest chances of the trauma to the baby so in that case we can provide and avoid it and prolong labor also cause for the intranatal and postnatal proper resuscitation of the baby and suctioning timely management then prevention of the hypothermia means room temperature is mainly maintained for the newborn baby life because in uh, new there is a new experience for the new baby so it priorly managed for the baby and neonatal infection they we can prevent it then emphasize breastfeeding because the we can assist in mother into the breastfeeding if they have no idea or improper techniques used then we can provide an assisted it then education for improper education of proper feeding technique means as i told earlier that is we as a midwife we can assist the mother for the proper technique and position while giving the feeding to a baby so these all are point included into the prevention of the postnatal period